My dad smashed my PS5, so I smashed his wife. I am heavily aware of the fact that Neil Mudo's remodel is today. It'll probably be out by the time I upload this, but we're not talking about him now. We're talking about the father of Godzilla, not the son of Godzilla. I still scream at my pillow every night asking myself, how is the destroyer of Japan the offspring of this deformed fetus? <laughs> With that hat, Franklin the turtle looking ass, little Bill looking ass. So as many of you may know, this diving board face having ass kaiju is actually one of the rarest kaijus in the game and the only reason why I have it is because I was blessed and to be fair the old model was pretty boring I'm not gonna lie you only had two actions so you just had to mindlessly keep walking into people and spam one and two and that's really the gameplay however there is something unique about this kaiju that makes it stand out from the rest which I'll talk about later but we fast forward to now who's laughing now I got my hat. And just so I can keep my sanity intact, I'm going to be talking about a level 100 one. Because let it be known now, you need a lot of patience with this kaiju. Now, to give a translation of what a level 100 Manila EX is like, in translation, I am only level 10. Yes, you fucking heard me. The main gimmick with this kaiju is that it can go up to level 1000. And I'm only talking about level 100 because, I mean, can you blame me? For one, I have many kaijus I need to cover. And number two, I'm not getting any younger. It's such a long task that I'm surprised FDA can even speak English at this point. But talking about the gameplay, it'll definitely seem familiar to the original Manila you probably get now. So you have your nuclear devastation, an excellent reference to Godzilla vs. Oscar the Grouch, Amazing. Cannonball, and my personal favorite, everyone say it with me now, but can he do other things that the original couldn't? Well, yes, he does. Look at this. A waste of resources. The weak are only there to benefit the strong. Manila EX's special ability is that he's the first kaiju to ever have a toggle sprint and fly. Jesus Christ, who would have thought a silly hat would make you become the ultimate spinjitsu master? It's also the first kaiju to make me jealous because... This kaiju can dance better than literally anyone I know on this planet. But I mean, it doesn't really do anything, so it's best to use that dance on a kid's dead body. I did not stutter. At level 100, his damage is really not that impressive. But Froki, you get skill points every five levels. <laughs> no! Not anymore, my friend, because now you get a skill point every 50 levels. So that means to max out your damage, or any stat for that matter, you need to be level 5. Hundred. What? Granted, though, it does seem like you don't need it at level 250 to 300, so I'll let it slide. But what I won't let slide is the air combat. Your arsenal while flying is f and It actually changes from a ring to a beam, so that's pretty cool. Okay, what else? Um, <laughs> that's it. I, I shit you not. I it's literally just f <laughs> Your only fucking method of fighting in the air is f well, I mean, you can still kind of do other attacks, you just have to drop out of the air and then attack. But why do I have to do this? This, I cannot stand for. No, like really, I, I can't stand for it. Was my legs really worth it? Oh yeah, and when you're playing Manila EX, it's always one of two things that'll happen. Either you'll be treated like a messiah, or you're like this millennium, and you'll get targeted a lot. It can be very common to get targeted, like this millennium. Like, he doesn't even care about anyone else. He's locked on me. I didn't even fight back. I was just sitting around trying to watch him get me, and it's pretty funny, but... What I'm trying to say here is what I mentioned earlier. You need to have a lot, and I mean a lot, of patience with this kaiju. Because not only do you have to deal with the very, and I mean very slow progress, also because of the fact you're basically the target of a contract. I think that's the best way to describe it. Also, when you hit your targets, you turn them gold, which does nothing. I don't understand why people ask me to turn them gold. This is a thing where it's like, oh, you hit me, now I have STD. <laughs> also, as you level up, you also increase in size. Now, I don't have a large manila because I, I wonder how you'll find out. But since FDA is level 900 and over, I can show you an example of what it looks like. So here's what he looks like. He looks like a fucking parade balloon, but other than that, this is a really cool feature. Even though when you become bigger, you become a bigger target. God damn it. But I mean, hey, you could do this. 
torpedo Ted looking ass, no bones having it. But I can't really tell you if Manila EX is good or not because I'm essentially only a level 10, but I'm just gonna say it at level 100, he's just mid. But that's when you ask yourself, do you wanna keep going? Do you wanna keep playing as Manila EX? Even though you know the path to strength is a seemingly endless bridge of never ending suffering. That's for you to decide. But I'm just saying, if you're gonna go for the high levels, all I'm gonna say is good fucking luck.